What's up guys and welcome back to Deco Creek TV. My name is Jeff and uh, on today's show we're just going to have a beginner video on how to build a basic a mold for a concrete countertop. So stay tuned and you're going to learn all about it. So if we're going to pour an upside down concrete countertop, it doesn't matter if it's a GFRC mix or a wet cast mix, we're going to have to have some sort of a mold to actually cast this stuff in. And honestly, um, you know, the steps you're going to see in this video, it's really not going to change much, whether it is GFRC or wet cast. Um, we can use this for either one. Now we have a couple different options here. You know, this particular mold we're building is actually going to be for a tabletop. So I'm not set to any exact dimensions and none of it's going to be fitting in a corner or anything like that. So honestly, just making some pencil lines, you know, with a straight edge and I can just actually, you know, set my, my side rails up and I can form right to it. No problem. Now, if you guys are building uh, an actual countertop, um, you know, that's going to sit on cabinets or anything that's going to be in a corner, it's really important that you have a template uh, for this first. So uh, if you haven't built your template yet, please check out this video right here and it's going to go through that entire process for you. And uh, once you have that template built, you can go ahead and come back to this video and everything after that, everything else is going to be exactly the same. So if you guys are using the template, if you got that built now, um, honestly, we don't even need to make any marks on here. I mean, all we need to do is just set our template down and we can literally just form right to it and then pull the template back out and we're done. Um, no big deal. Now, again, today, you know, we don't have a template for this. So all we're gonna do is we're just gonna get our melamine uh, cut. It's great to use an actual miter saw for this. Anytime that, you know, you're making these cuts with a little circular saw, it's hard to be precise. And so I just like to use a miter saw I got all my forms cut and now all I need to do is just set them um, right to the line and then I can use my uh, two and a half inch air nailer and I can go ahead and just uh, pop these nails in right where they need to go and that's going to hold just fine for me. If you don't have one of those nailers, a, a really easy thing to do is to just take a drill with a countersink bit and just pre-drill your holes uh, with a countersink and then you can just use normal drywall screws. Um, no big deal, a little more time consuming but um, certainly no problem to do that. So now that we got all that done, all we need to do is just uh, go ahead and caulk our transition from horizontal to vertical. That way it'll make a nice clean edge there and we don't get any concrete running underneath of it. And the tools I'm gonna need for that is just gonna be some black silicone. Um, you know, we like to use the black uh, silicone just because you can see, really see what you're doing with it. Um, at very least, just use a contrasting color, not white um, or clear if you're using melamine. And then we're gonna need some of these little uh, caulking uh, tools um, just to smooth everything out, um, different radius. For a full tutorial on the, how to actually caulk these edges, uh, please watch Jason's Technique of the Week video right here. Right here is what we're looking for. When you look at this, we want to see that white. Well, guys, that's pretty much it. We're ready to go ahead and pour our concrete in this mold. Um, if you guys like this video, please hit the subscribe button. Don't forget about the bell icon so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. From all of us here at Deco Creek TV, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.